Imagine you're standing directly in front of an MRI scanner, holding a ferrous metal object. Where would the MRI magnet's strongest point be? In other words, where would the metal object be pulled towards? Would it be A, the rear face of the magnet, B, the center of the magnet, C, the inside edge of the magnet bore, or D, the front face of the magnet? Before I reveal the answer, we're about to see exactly where the strongest pull happens and why many animations and movies get it wrong. This is an MRI safe tool made of an aluminum bronze alloy. This material shows very weak magnetic properties in fields up to 1.5 Tesla. But as you'll see in this demonstration, in 3T MRI environments and above, the field does affect the wrench, just enough to provide a clear visual, but without any real danger. The first thing you'll notice as I approach the powerful MRI magnetic field is the wrench aligning with the main magnetic field and being pulled towards the magnet at a little over one meter or three feet from the front plane of the magnet. I'm doing my best to keep the wrench as centered as possible and you'll see why in a second. As I approach the center of the magnet, something pretty amazing happens. It's as if the magnetic field just disappears. So what's really going on here? The MRI magnet has a north pole and a south pole, just like a bar magnet. In the very middle, halfway between the poles, the opposing forces balance out. This point is called the isocenter. At the MRI isocenter, the magnetic field is still extremely strong, but it's perfectly homogeneous, so the result is little to no significant directional pull on the wrench. But the MRI isocenter isn't just where the forces balance out, it's also where all the imaging happens. This perfectly uniform magnetic field is essential for producing clear, accurate images of the body. With the help of secondary magnetic fields, called gradients, the MRI can add just enough variation to map your body in three dimensions. We'll take a look at how MRI actually maps out your body in a later chapter, but first, let's get back to the demonstration. The forces that were just pulling the wrench towards the MRI magnet just stopped. As I pull the wrench out, it snaps towards the edge of the magnet bore. Once I'm about three or four feet away from the magnet, this non-ferrous tool shows little to no response to the magnetic field. This short demonstration, performed under real clinical conditions, contradicts many of the short videos and animations you'll find online. For example, if you've watched the MRI scene in the recent Final Destination movie, you might think the correct answer is A, with metal being sucked into the rear of the MRI, like an all-consuming black hole. Or you might think the answer is B, the center of the MRI scanner, from watching one of the characters get folded in half. In reality, these depictions are far from accurate when compared to the actual physics of the MRI magnetic fields. Similarly, many animations show patients and objects stuck to the front face of the magnet, which may lead you to believe the answer is D, the front face of the magnet. But the strongest point of an MRI magnet is the inside edge of the magnet bore, where all the magnetic field lines converge. So if you answered C, you're correct. In the next episode, we'll see just how far the magnetic field extends beyond the scanner as we take a deep dive into MRI physics.